All right, folks, we are at Kenomi Canyon Trail Head. Um, it's a series of little canyon trails uh, in Nova Scotia, just east of Parsboro. Uh, it takes us about three hours to get down here. It's not far from Chignecto, so uh, a little rough getting here. Looked like something out of deliverance, as my girlfriend said. Ben, poor Ben, <laughs> bottomed out his car pretty bad on a pothole there, so it doesn't look like we took too much damage, but it should be okay. Other than that, uh, it was a good drive down, lots to talk about. Ben's got a new pack, I'll take a shot of that in a little bit. It's just like mine, uh, he really liked mine from the last trip, so we went and bought one. Um, other than that, we're gonna have the traditional uh, cider before our hike, I got a blueberry cider that we're gonna sip on. Um, yeah, it's early in the day, it's only about 11 o'clock, so we got lots of time to work with. And uh, not in any rush, pack weights are down like 17, 18 pounds, maybe 19 with the booze. <laughs> We decided to throw a little bit extra in for the for the day. So it's just an overnighter. We're going to go up to Murphy Brook campsite is the plan. Um, it's probably close to 12 kilometers. Um, supposed to be some tough hiking, but I think, uh, you know, we'll just take our time and enjoy. we got all day to get there. And it's supposed to be nice later on today. It's a bit foggy right now with a little drizzle, but that's going to pass over and turn into the sun. Supposed to be lots of waterfalls to look at. Excited. This is the whole reason we're here because I wanted to get out and see waterfalls and uh, some bridges, and I'm sure we'll meet lots of nice people. But in the end, we're just here to have a good time. So I'm going to put the uh, camera down and we're going to get my stuff together and hit out in the trail. And I'll uh, start shooting videos as soon as we get out there. Talk to you soon. <laughs> but the reality is is that it's a form-fitting pack right yeah so that it moves with your body now you're gonna get the obligatory squeak it comes with every osprey pack yeah, pretty much but thankfully when you hike you don't really notice it that much you just kind of lost in your own world anyways so. yeah Oh, just camping and hiking and doing all the stuff. You your water bottle yourself. I know, <laughs> it's so awesome. I'll zip it for you. I just remembered I almost <laughs> didn't have my water bottle. Oh, I love that. Oh, the first river crossing of the day. It's gonna, I think it's going to be rough one, guys. You better get the shoes out. All right, out. step aside, so. mortals. All right, so we're at the basic central point of the trailhead system. Uh, these are the path down to the falls. We were thinking of doing it today because we thought it was on the way, but it's actually a bunch of steps we're gonna do tomorrow. So we're gonna wait and do it tomorrow because it's a shorter day and it's an easy walk tomorrow. So we're gonna get going because we wanna kind of see where we get to and we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that tomorrow. All right, so the left turn. So I guess the, bri the bridge is down there somewhere. So. Oh, okay. So. Yep. So Konomi Canyon Trail. There's a picnic area down there. Huh. huh. Interesting. All right, cool. Lots of dead fall on this trail. So Ben's trying to get himself a walking stick. Oh, it looks like he found something. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, put too much weight on it just because it's dead like that, but just use it for your balance. Don't use it for like uh, safety thing. You know, if you fall, chuck it. All right. We've come quite a distance already. Holy cow. Oh my God. Have we ever? So we are headed walking, to there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've like, we've 
gone like We've halfway already. It's been, what, a half hour, maybe 45 minutes? <laughs> this is going to be so easy. So Thank God we brought crib. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, getting drunk in camp time is the name of the game on this one, probably. Woo! I guess so. Party time. Oh, oh. I mean, the trail's been pretty good so far. It's been pretty smooth. But that just means the next day we'll be finished that much sooner. Man, we can... that's a well, that's the thing, and, and, and that's okay. But wow. the reality is we, we had no idea of what the quality of the trail was. Now, the deadfall slows us down by a fraction of a second because they've done a good job of cutting out yeah. cutting out the sections, right? They've cut out little trails around it. But this is pretty, compared to Strignacto and anywhere else I've been, this is really easy walking. This is sweet trail, and it's nice. And quiet. I have to say, like, it probably wouldn't get that much foot traffic, but, like, Not it's well-groomed. How's pack, Ben? How's pack? Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I don't really want to uh, promote um, Osprey. Osprey too much, but... Uh, Why not? What? You got a problem with him? Atmos, <laughs> fuck face. This is an Atmos 50 AG. This is, See the tag? Yeah, I kept the tag on. Ben, Ben's so happy he left the tags on it. <laughs> this so is, so I'll take that as part of my base weight. That's okay. This is the best backpack I've ever worn, honestly. Yeah. I had 30 pounds of books in this before, and it felt like I... It, actually, my back felt better with the bag on than with it off. Huh. So... What, like, people are, are people telling her she's taking too much time off, or? <laughs> hey guys, the trail's going really well. It's a nice easy walk. Got a little tougher after that last section. But it's still kind of uh, pretty straightforward. Not uh, not footpath bad, but more like Shignacto bad, which isn't bad. It's quite good. It's kind of muggy out today, kind of nice. Yeah, it's going really well. Nice, easy hike. We're not stressed at all, and I'm very happy about that because it's just nice to get away from work and stuff. So. All right, so we've made it to our first water crossing. It's quite beautiful here. See the rocks on the side kind of skirting this river. I don't know what uh, the size of the brook is. Ben saw a badger over there. We saw it for a split second. He took off and he uh, yelled and the <laughs> badger took off. So yeah. So we've uh, decided to stop and take a break here. It's been a great walk so far. If Ben hadn't yelled, the badger might have still been there. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a badger! Oh, God. No, uh, it's already starting to run as soon as I pointed out, actually. No. <laughs> no, I heard, look, it's a badger! And then go to the badger and go, what the fuck? <laughs> off it went. They yeah, a little water crossing. I'm gonna definitely take my shoes off because I'm not having a repeat later. Can't believe you walked through there with your boots on. Are they wet? Oh. What? I don't really like them. My feet are super toasty right now. So it's actually not, not as slippery as I thought it was going to be. It just, it does it's another kilometer up to the camp area, but there's falls near there. Did you guys want to go up? It's a two, it's a two, two kilometer detour. I feel great, so whatever anybody wants to do, I'm happy. Oh, let's see the falls. Let's see falls. Yeah, let's that's what we came here for, here. so. Oh, that's nice. Pretty sweet spot. Look at that. Not too shabby. This is awesome. It is pretty sweet. All right, so we made it to our first official waterfall that we could see. Fantastic, as you've seen. Uh, really like it. Uh, we're not staying here tonight. This is a two, uh, one kilometer off shoot or spur. Just wanted to see what it was all about. Uh, we came here for waterfalls, and waterfalls we found indeed. 
So yeah, it's pretty beautiful. Let me give you another shot. So somebody did make a fire pit, as we kind of assumed would be the case. Very uh, small tenting pads. Let's see, not the the best selection. <laughs> Give her, I got you. Did you fall in? Oh. That's right. Damn it, he made it. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, you should definitely think about investing in some good poles someday too. I mean, if this is something you're doing, I mean, you, you bought the backpack. Well, but I have Kelly's boat poles. Yeah. yeah, but he wants something that's going to be a little more sturdy. Like those will give out, unfortunately, I think, in time. That's just something to think about. Stay there, Ben. That's Just a for, good shot. I'm gonna uh, film it for a second, then I'll take a picture. But don't look at me, God damn it! Action, damn it! Look at the fog, man. Look. look, it's majestic. <laughs> picture yourself in the wilderness and look majestic. <laughs> See now, you ruined the moment. So basically we go back up and go like a quarter of a kilometer. Okay, so it looks like we made it to our campsite. So, oh! <laughs> looks like a nice little area. Looks like a nice flat area back here, I would say. Yeah, just flat enough to put a tent down on, so I think we're good right there. So it looks like a really nice spot. Stream to the right, trickling. Not too loud, which I like. Fire pit, so we can have a fire. Might be interesting trying to get wood. We'll see. Let's go over and take a look at this waterfall from the top. Ah, oh, it's just a little guy. What's that? Kinda. Setting up camp. Uh, I'm about to get some water down there. I'm going to one of the other campsites to. Uh, or not camps, I was just going down to the waterfall to collect some water just because I can. Be a little more fun down there. Uh, yeah, and Ben's got his hammock set up. We got our tent set up. I'll give you a shot of that later on. Uh, there are fire pits all over the place here, so we're gonna have a fire for sure. And I uh, got some booze to go with it. Booze. And what else? Yeah, so we probably went around 13 or 14 kilometers a day. It took us about four hours to do that but don't forget two three kilometers of it or spur trails of what you're supposed to do so if we hadn't done those three kilometers it probably would only been three hours so it sounds about right for the trip so pretty happy with that feet are still good life is good got good food to eat 
lots of snacks and stuff. Probably the last, one of the last trips of this year. I think I might do one more with a friend of mine. Maybe Ben, maybe somebody else. And but yeah, it's been great so far. We're gonna go down there and get some water. And then we're gonna get something to eat because I am starving. I need a snack. And then think about wood collection. And then think about fire time and booze. Fire time booze. Fire time booze. It's all one word. Hashtag fire. Hashtag booze. So what are you doing, Ben? I'm writing a little poem. Poem? A poem, yes. Ode to, Ode to the phone in the water. It's called Deep Down on the Camino Trail. Oh. Yes. Well, have, you'll have to read it to us later. Folks, end of day one, only one more day to go. Ah! Uh, yeah, it was a good day. Uh, we did, as I said earlier, probably 13, 14 kilometers in total. Um, starting to cool down now. You can probably tell the light's going down quite a bit. And uh, we just had a big supper, a big feed of spaghetti, and Ben had some ramen. Um, yeah, and we're going to have a fire going here. I'll try and record a little bit of it, but you know how this, this GoPro camera goes. But yeah, so it was a beautiful day. Lots of neat things to see. We think there'll be a bunch more tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping there is. Um, so we're going to get to bed here sometime. We have some drinks now <laughs> and get a fire going. And then we're going to hit the hay. And next thing you know, we'll be on the trail first thing in the morning. So I'll probably say hi first thing and then we'll uh, get going. Talk to you soon. o'clock in the morning we've just finished uh, packing up camp uh, really quick uh, tear down we don't have a lot of gear with us uh, a few pounds lighter with no alcohol and no a lot less food at this point so we have about I'd say about 10k at the most today uh, shouldn't be very hard it's supposed to be even easier than yesterday uh, we're gonna hit up Newton Lake real quick to take a look at their campsites and then we're gonna hit the uh, bridge before we head out and then the economy falls is the last thing we wanna do. Uh, should be good, I don't think it'll be a lot to see along the way, but the, the economy falls and the other things should look really neat, so we'll we'll touch back when we get to those. But yeah, good start to the morning, a little chilly, but just, just as chilly as every morning, so talk to you soon. Whoa. Kind of neat, kind of above the, almost above the tree line. Nice. I can't believe we're this high up, actually. I think this is a marsh. We'll probably skirt along the edge until we get to the far side. No, because you got to go down and Newton Lake's on our right. So this, oh, is, is, this, this is probably a swamp. I'm awesome. guessing. Be a nice place to wake up to in the morning, though. Yeah. Campsite oh, on the park.
toaster is that you need uh, you need some extra. It already feels like we're getting back to the falls. Yeah. Like just this here makes me feel like we're already back where we want to be because it's such easy walking. Cow milker. Stop milking it, Kelly. Stop milking it. Squeeze. Tight. Real you, tight. You got to get a good rhythm. Rhythm. Pump. Pump. Tired. Stroke. Not no. too hard. It's good. you got to be gentle. You got to be gentle with it. It, it has, needs care and affection. You know what? Not More wrecks. More wrecks. Hey everyone, just reached the uh, waterfalls. Um, as you can see, I uh, tried to get some shots of the falls, but there's really no really great perspective to see it, unfortunately. A little disappointed, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe we're missing something, I'm not sure, but you really can't see anything, you can kind of hear it. There's a rickety rope over there you can take down, but you know what, we don't need to go down and hurt ourselves at the end of a trip right now, so we'd rather play it safe. I'm sure we could go down and look at it though, but with all the emplacements here, you'd think they'd have something a little more safe going down there. So, not going to do that. We are going to go up and head out to the car. We're just right there and uh, head out for the day. I'm going to have a little talk with Ben there about his gear when I get up out of here. And uh, yeah, great trip. A little disappointing ending, but still a lot of fun. Beautiful views, great scenery. Just one thing we were really hoping for the bang for our buck and it really didn't happen. All right, so we found out where our error was. Uh, we started hiking up the actual trail we started yesterday and started up the hill. And if it wasn't for Kelly and Ben, we'd probably still hiking it right now. We were heading basically back to Chain Lake. And uh, so we came back, started up the opposite trail, and uh, we found the actual path down to the falls. Pretty neat. Nice sunny day. A lot better view. Less disappointing, that's for sure. We are going to, uh, we got a bit of a gear bomb going on over there. We're going to have a hodgepodge lunch and eat up some of the snacks and stuff we have left over and get fueled up. And then we're going to take a walk up around the falls and get some pictures and stuff. And then we're going to head out for the day.
All right, Ben. All right, so you did Shignacto earlier this year, and now you just did Konomi, which is about 25 kilometers to our estimation, maybe a little longer because of our detour. Yeah. So you got the new pack. Oh. What's the verdict? The verdict is this pack is absolutely amazing. Um, one of the main annoyances with my old mech backpack was that um, it would pinch my shoulders because the strap, I felt, it wasn't wide enough, but also... Um, it didn't have an adjustable sort of uh, strapping system, so it didn't really fit my girth as much as it should have, hmm. and um, that was a real annoyance. But the other main problem with my mech was that I just it had all that space, so I threw a whole bunch of stuff in there. This one, I with the Osprey, I could actually fit a lot of stuff in. I would had to be mindful of my weight, but I still had extra room to put more stuff in, yeah. and yet I only took 26 pounds and I still took extra items for me to enjoy like yeah. it was a really nice hike I could barely feel a thing honestly half the time I didn't even I forgot that I had a backpack on yeah. so um, oh. so overall good trip complete difference it was yeah. like 1 out of 10 last time and now it's I wouldn't say it's absolutely perfect no but you're getting there but it's like 9 out of 10 yeah yeah um, what was your favorite part of this trip? I have to say, I think it was um, the first falls we went to. That would have been... Chain Lake. Or Chain Lake. Ch Chain Stream or something. Falls. Chain Lake Stream Falls. Or something like that. I can't remember what that was called. That was, that was really... Um, I like Economy Falls is great. Yeah. But I'd say that that first one was nice because that's exactly when the clouds had parted and we had this nice sunny spell. Yeah. We had this beautiful pond with like water gushing down this rocky face and like we had our first exposure to what a campfire or like a campground looked like and we had these stone, they had stone step uh, chairs around a nice beautiful stone lined fireplace. Like it was really quite nice and uh, I think that was like my favorite moment yeah. uh, on the trail um, and, and it felt good too because we were fair ways into the trail and yet I didn't feel tired. Yeah, and you so. didn't have any big problems going on, weren't, weren't exhausted and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, all we're uh, all done for this trip. Just got back to the trailhead. Uh, it was a nice climb down to the falls and uh, it was a great trip. Uh, lots learned again. Some ideas for some recipes came up and uh, we met again a couple people that gave us some ideas for some new trails, so we'll be going to those here shortly, but Again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the channel, just hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, you can hit the bell if you want some notifications, but do whatever you want. It's all fun and games. So, uh, if you like more videos, you know, just check out the channel. Cruise through. I got a lot of different stuff on there, and, and uh, it's all fun stuff. So, in the meantime, take care.